Hello folks. So in this video, I am going to uh, introduce you to Plotly dashboard, which is a framework to create beautiful and interactive dashboards uh, and showcasing it as a web application. So Plotly dash has uh, various applications. Uh, we could use it to create, uh, you know, stock related financial dashboards in real time, uh, you know, dashboards for capturing um, Twitter data and sentiments. Uh, demand forecasting dashboards etc so as a part of this entire series i will be showcasing few examples of plotly dashboards first and then i will be developing um, a sample app uh, and then after that i will be discussing various uh, basically uh, components of dash and after that i will be uh, using bootstrap to do some you know uh, styling in order to make our app look professional and beautiful uh, lastly uh, in fact then I will be uh, creating a real-time dashboard for uh, doing live Twitter sentiment analysis and lastly uh, uh, I will be uh, you know showing how to deploy these dash apps uh, as a web application in order to make it available for you know everyone uh, be it internal organization or end users. So this is Nitin uh, who is determined to uh, democratize uh, the artificial intelligence, big data, Hadoop and cloud computing to the world. And with this aim, I will be creating associated content and going to uh, you know publish it periodically and made it available for you. So you can subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates regarding hottest technologies of 21st centuries. Now the question is, what is Dash? Well, Dash is a Python framework used to build analytical uh, dashboards or web applications. Uh, one good thing uh, here is that you need uh, not to know the JavaScript for building these applications. Uh, you could use various, uh, you know, HTML elements uh, like drop-down, checkboxes, uh, text boxes, etc., to change uh, the graph visualization. Okay, and you can control various other aspects of uh, the graph and the charts. Okay, so the code for Dash is uh, declarative and reactive in nature. Uh, you know, uh, nature, thereby making it easier to build complex apps containing interactive elements. And through Dash, you could basically control entire look and feel of the application. So Dash is kind of an alternative to R Shiny. Uh, and if you love Python language, then Dash is worth exploring. So R Shiny is uh, native to R language and the dash is uh, primarily for uh, you know python related uh, programming language so so you could uh, basically install the dash libraries using uh, this particular command okay now if you are using anaconda then uh, you could use uh, commands like uh, given here okay so these are the commands And uh, you can ba basically go through the entire, uh, you know, uh, documentation of Dash. So there is a Dash user guide and documentation, uh, which can be found uh, at this particular link, which is https colon slash slash dash dot plot dot lee slash. Okay. So this is the link for it. Okay, let me show you real quick. So this is the website, right? You can see the dash user guide details, introduction, announcement, app gallery, uh, all these sorts of information is given here. Then we have dash tutorial given here as well. And then component libraries, etc, etc. So you can find uh, the documentation, entire documentation and user guide. On this particular link okay and if you want to go through various uh, you know already built apps uh, to see the entire list of apps which are already created uh, by community uh, and as a matter of fact dash uh, plotly in fact then you can uh, go through it 
and in fact i will be going through a couple of example out of that gallery so slash gallery if you type that then you will get a complete list of uh, the various already built apps here okay so this is uh, the gallery and you can see that various apps are given here this is the one and in finance we have this app salesforce dashboard right we have salesforce dashboard here uh, recession in 255 charts right that is one more uh, vanguard report here it is given here then looks like their website is a little slow so energy and transport dashboard is here right so these are all built in uh, uh, native dash web app framework okay so this is last to dash dashboard then we have in, in life sciences we have drug precursors dashboard mri reconstruction dashboard on the right hand side right and uh, if we scroll down further okay then we have these phylogeny trees and global spread of six viruses dashboard and there is one within the government and public health related dashboard so this is us opioid epidemic dashboard let's open this one real quick okay so now you can see here there is app is opened now and you can see that there are various elements available on this particular uh, web app and the charts as well so you can see there is a slider uh, element available here or component available here this is a core component so there is a library core components library which contains uh, the list of these uh, components so there's a slider then we have map transparency as well you can hide the legend by clicking on it so here is this legend given here on the right hand side you can see um, so you can if you click the checkbox you will see the page will be refreshed and this legend will go away okay So you can see that legend has gone right you you no more be able to see the legend on this if you uncheck this the legend will come once again and uh, on the right hand side you can see so on the left hand side you can see there is a heat map of uh, age adjusted mortality rates for poisonings in year 2003 if you scroll this slider right let us say if you scroll it to 2010 then you can see the value is changed the heat map adjusted value uh, adjusted mortality rates from poisoning in year 2000 right and the map is changed accordingly this map is changed accordingly right on the right hand side you can see that there are various check boxes like log scale hide legend include flag unreliable etc and then you can select the chart from here drop down okay so there is a trend line you can select or you know some bar graph or histograms here so in order to plot this graph you can first select a particular area so let us let me select this area so you can see that i have selected this much so all the regions which come into this particular area you it will be plotted here right hand side you can see this histogram is plotted on the right hand side okay so this is age adjusted death rate okay for Utah county uh, davis county larimer county boulder county etc okay if you want to change uh, this histogram let us say i want to choose histogram of total number of deaths in a single year so if i change it you can see the graph is changed accordingly okay and the title as well absolute deaths per county 2010 so these 
uh, elements or these components like drop down sliders you know these uh, elements make the dash uh, web application interactive in nature interactive as well as dynamic so these are not static graphs you can very well play with them you can uh, you know interact with these uh, graphs uh, dynamically by selecting the values from these components or elements uh, these HTML, uh, HTML elements like drop downs, sliders, checkboxes, etc. Let us say you want to change the graph once again. You want to see the trends in age adjusted death rate from 1999 to 2016. So you can see the graph has changed accordingly, dynamically. You know, it has been changed dynamically. So you can see that there is a legend given on the right hand side. This is these are legend this is the legend and these are the trend lines for age adjusted death rate per county per year for from 1999 to 2016 so these are the trend lines so you can see that how dynamically uh, and interactively these graph gets changed so this is the power of dash in fact so uh, this this is the uh, you know reason we can create these beautiful dashboards for uh, you know uh, showcasing this to our business users or end users. Now, let us say you want to change this, uh, you know, uh, legend or hide this legend. Click on checkbox, and this legend will be hidden. So you can see now the legend has gone away. Okay, so this is the way you can uh, create these kind of graphs. Okay. Now let me move on to the second example okay so let me take another example here and this time i will take let's say wind speed measurement okay so this is opening so basically this second example in the list is a wind speed streaming um, you know live feed data so this is a live data which is being uh, uh, plotted here so you can see um, in a while just let it open so you can see that it is continuously getting updated so wind speed streaming dashboard here you can see the wind speed in miles per hour and this graph is continuously updating or moving okay in right direction so you can see that it is continuously updating and you can check the status here also the status bar updating updating right so it is this graph is continuously updating and that uh, you can see the time elapsed in second here okay on the x-axis and uh, the mile uh, speed wind speed is in on y-axis okay so this is the way uh, you know it dynamically gets updated and uh, you, you something which you are seeing here is a live uh, data uh, okay so this uh, dash uh, dashboard is plotting the live data here okay so you can see how beautiful it is right uh, on the bottom you can see the wind speed histogram right and again you can play with this histogram and this is also in fact updating in real time so our graph was also updating in real time here also you can see that it is being updated in real time okay so you can see that average which is uh, depicted by dotted um, uh, solid dotted lines is getting updated every second right and same is the case with median value which is this value this is this total line so this graph is continuously updating in real time so kind of feeding the live data to our plot here okay now if you want to change the number of bins you can change the number of bins by using this slider so let us say if i move it to left hand side you will see the number of bins get changed to six only so now you are able to see only six bins but if you want to if you move the slide to slider to the right hand side you will see that the bins uh, bin count is get increased to 31 okay if you move it further you will see the number of bins 
value gets changed to 39. So this way you can play around with using these components like slider. Okay, so and these components make uh, is, is what makes these dashboards interactive and dynamic in nature. All right. So folks, uh, this is it for this video. Uh, to conclude, we learned about uh, what exactly is Plotly Dash. How can we install uh, the Dash libraries to plot the graphs? Okay. And create uh, dashboards as well as uh, uh, we went through a few examples of Dash applications. Okay. So here's today's questions. Do you think uh, the Dash is one of the best way to create, uh, you know, web-based dashboards uh, programmatically or you know some other, uh, or do you know, in fact, uh, some other uh, web framework uh, which is more robust than Dash? Please feel free to uh, share your comments in the uh, comment section given below. And if you're watching this video and you're not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. And in case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Uh, I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.